Find the moment of inertia and the radius of gyration of the area between the curves y1 and y2 with respect to the x-axis. So I've got this area between these two curves and I want to know what the moment of inertia is with respect to this x-axis. First thing I want to notice is that I can't do this with composite bodies. There's just no way. So I'm going to have to integrate. I'm going to want to know what dA is. Since I have to integrate, Ix is going to be the integral of y squared dA. I want I'm going to want to use a horizontal differential element if I can, because then I already have dy as my height. The width of that rectangle, as I'm figuring out what the area is of my differential element, is going to be what x1 minus x2 dy. To figure that out, I need to figure out what x1 and x2 are. I don't actually know what k1 and k2 are, but I know that both of these curves pass through the point x equals a y equals b. I can substitute this Cartesian point into the two formulas and solve, and I get k1 is b over a to the fourth, and k2 is b over a to the one-fourth. That I can plug back in. So, for example, y1 is b over a to the fourth times x to the fourth, and I can solve that to show that and at any particular point, like x1, I have a to the fourth over b times y to the one-fourth power. That's x1 x2 is very similar. I get a to the one-fourth over b times y raised to the fourth power. So dA is a to the fourth over b y minus a to the one-fourth over b y to the fourth power. I can take that integral. Ix is the integral from zero to b. Ix is the integral from zero to b of y squared of my dA. To evaluate that integral, you've got a over b to the one-fourth y to the 13 fourths, because I've got 8 9 fourths there, divided by 13 fourths, minus a over b to the fourth, y to the seventh over 7, evaluated from 0 to b. And I simplify that a little bit more. I get ix is 4 over 13, a over b to the 1 fourth times b to the 13 fourths, which is going to give me 4 thirteenths a b cubed. And over here I've got minus a over 7b to the 4th times b to the 7th power, which is minus 1 7th ab cubed. All of that simplifies to 15 over 91 ab cubed. That's part of my answer. The other question was, what is the radius of gyration? So I'm going to want to know what kx is. This is the integral of i over a. This, excuse me. kx is the square root of i over a. I need to figure out what a is. Well, notice you've got dA. A is the integral of dA. So if I go ahead and figure out what that cap integral would be without the y squared, evaluate that integral, I've got a over b to the one-fourth, y to the five-fourths, because it's going up over five-fourths, minus a over b to the fourth, y to the fifth over five, evaluated from zero to b. That gives me four-fifths ab minus one-fifth ab, or three-fifths ab. Now that I know a, I can plug a back into the square root of i over a. So I've got 15 over 91 ab cubed divided by 3 fifths ab. My a's are going to cancel. The b will come out of the square root. That leaves me 25 over 91, or 0.52414b. So my answer is kx is 0.524b.